Hey guys, today we are talking about school bus stop safety. The woman who lives here puts her grandson on the bus every morning to go to school, but the bus doesn't stop here. It actually stops up this road about a quarter mile, maybe a little bit less. Her grandson is about nine years old, and she says she's uncomfortable with him having to walk up this road, but apparently until now, she says the school district uh, has been unable to help her out. So we're just gonna take a walk up this road ourselves. We're gonna see what it's like to have to walk uh, up this road. This is Denison in Dauphin Borough in Dauphin County here as a car is coming through now. So we're just gonna take a walk up to the bus stop and see what it's really like. You can see I've got my safety vest on. Uh, this is not standard issue for uh, kids though. You can see there's not much of a shoulder, if anything at all. I'm literally walking here in the street on the side of the road as cars are coming past. That was a police officer, of course. Now, the, the, the school district, this would be Central Dauphin District, does have a way that uh, parents and guardians can go on and uh, go online and download a form to try to get the bus stop changed. But on that form, it says specifically that they're not gonna do uh, home visits or home stops, excuse me, unless that they deem that uh, the road is dangerous or unsafe. And on that form, they say specifically, typically that means 100 to 200 cars passing by uh, in, uh, in 15 minutes during the time that the child would be walking to the bus. Now, clearly not a lot of traffic on this road right now. Uh, now, I'm not sure uh, how much more traffic there is early in the morning when everyone is getting up and getting ready to go to work, but that's not her big issue. The issue is people like to apparently speed on this road. I talked to another neighbor. He said uh, he avoids this road whenever he can because people are going so fast. And you can see this hill here. It's very hard to see what's coming. Fortunately, there are yards at this point that uh, that a child could be walking in. But if a car comes over that hill quickly, I wouldn't be able to see it. All right. So we're up over the hill now. You can see the intersection where the bus stop is. So again, it's not a very long walk and there's not incredible traffic, at least midday on a Monday. Keep in mind this child uh, is nine years old, having to make this walk every morning. And here we are, coming up on Elizabeth Avenue. This is the bus stop on Denison Drive that this grandmother is uncomfortable with. And there you have it, that's the walk. This grandmother tells me that she is going to keep trying to get this change. She's tried for the last couple of years and hasn't had any luck. It's something though that she says she's not gonna stop fighting for.